All right, before we play on our whole instrument, I want you to check your neck strap. You're gonna put your instrument, put the bell about right here on the right side of your leg. So it should rest on your leg and then your right thumb is gonna push forward so that your mouthpiece comes right to your mouth. If it comes right to your mouth, perfect. Your left thumb can help too on the black dot here. So your thumbs are balancing your instrument along with your neck strap. If it's too high, then lower your neck strap a little bit. If it's too low and you're having to lean over to reach it, then raise your neck strap. You should be able to sit up tall and be comfortable sitting up tall. <laughs> you may not like sitting up tall, but it's good for you. Um, you should be able to sit up tall and your mouthpiece comes right to you. So take a second to make sure that everything's perfect. The first note we're gonna play is C. You're gonna use your second finger only. So the finger for C is two. Okay, so let's try it and make sure everything's balanced. You should still be pressing your top teeth, pressing up on those top teeth. Let's just play a couple of test notes. This should come out pretty easily for you, but if you're getting some kind of a squeaky sound, you're probably putting too much pressure on your reed, okay? So loosen up a little bit from your bottom teeth and put that pressure up onto your top teeth, okay? So we're gonna learn our daily drill. Um, make sure that you've done your baby instrument daily drill before you're ready to do this, okay? Because that helps you set your embouchure every single day. One other thing I forgot to mention, you wanna tilt your mouthpiece in just a little bit so that it could still come straight to you when it's playing on the, when you're playing on the side like this. So you may have to slightly twist your mouthpiece. Mine is very, very slight. See, it's just a tiny bit. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna play, then you're gonna play. So I play for four beats, we rest for four beats, and then you play for four beats, okay? So listen carefully, and I want you to hold your instrument up the whole time. Here we go. One, two, my turn. Your turn. Three, two. My turn again. Make the best steady sound you can. Go. Two. Pattern change. My turn. Our next note is B. The fingering for B is one. So to switch from C to B, you have to switch from two to one, okay? When you make that switch, you wanna do it really quick. So try and do it exactly at the same time. All right, so we're on B now, which is one only. All right, you know the drill. I play, you play. One, two, my turn. <laughs> Your turn. Two. Three. Two. Three. 
Good job. Keep going for the next note. Our next note is A. The fingering is one, two. So one and two. Fingering for A. Let's go. One, two, my turn. G. The fingering is one, two, three. A one, two, and three are down for G. Let's do it. Good set. One, two. <laughs> Slouching. Sit up really tall this whole time. Okay, here we go. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now the next video will show you how to do this all put together with no stopping.